Welcome. We're ready to get the week off to a great start. It's the NBA on 2K Sports. Brian Anderson here, joined by our analyst, Hall of Famers Grant Hill and Doris Burke. Plus, reporting from the sidelines, Allie LaForce. All right, here's a look at the schedule for the Dallas Mavericks. On Wednesday, they'll be matching up against DeMar DeRozan and the Chicago Bulls. Then on Friday, they'll go up against the Spurs in San Antonio. The road is never the highlight of your schedule for any team. But for these guys, it is a chance to go out there, test themselves, and see how well they gel outside of home court. It could be a very valuable experience. Well, this one's about to get going. But first, let's check in with Allie LaForce. Hey, Brian. We've heard a lot of critique of some of the fouls that are called. Ask Warriors head coach Steve Kerr. He said, quote, We've gotten out of control, gifting offensive players the ability to jump three or four feet into a guy and draw a foul. It's not a basketball play. Give the defensive player some benefit of a doubt. Guys? All right, Alec, good stuff there. Makes a good point. And some new faces and new places this year, Grant. How long do you think it takes for a new player to fit in? Well, you know, some players never fit in. But depending upon the style, it varies from player to player. A look at the starting group for the Pelicans. It's an all-Duke forward pair. Ingram the three, Zion the four. It's Graham and Alexander Walker at the one and the two. And it's Valanchunas in at the five, roaming the paint. And for Dallas, Kleba and Porzingis, the combo inside. Luka Doncic is out there with Trey Burke. And it's Hardaway in at the small forward. Here's Doncic. Hits the target from 18 feet. Uh, Luka Doncic showing, I don't need the basketball to dominate. Playing with his teammate there, ready on the catch. Valanchunas passes to Ingram. Valanchunas with a screen on Hardaway. Outside Graham. Tries it from the top of the key. And it's in there. Okay, and here are the Mavericks now. Hardaway on the wing. Beyond the arc. Buries it from three. Well, we know that Tim Hardaway Jr. can space the floor. You don't want to allow him to start cooking. And Doris, a career resurgence for a former ninth overall pick, Trey Burke. Right. Spent some time in the G League, but with his stature, not exactly a stopper. Right? There's a size issue in terms of the defensive end of the floor. But boy, has he improved his efficiency as a scorer. Here's Doncic. And they doubled up Doncic. Porzingis for three. And the Mavericks, another three. Well, in the modern NBA, a big that can shoot with range so important. Kristaps Porzingis from three. Takes one from 10 feet. And the dunk by Valanchunas. Sometimes a player is born with a passer's mindset. He deals it with conviction. Doncic passes to Porzingis. The shot is good. Doncic making the play. Porzingis has got five now. This guy has been elite as a passer since he entered the league. He takes pride in making the guys around him better. Shot from the wing. Williamson no good. Dallas has gone two for two from deep to start this one. It's Doncic with a drive. Oh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. That's on Jonas Valanciunas. This guy moves so well with the ball in his hands. And Doncic knows how to initiate contact and get himself to the line when he puts it on the deck. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. off on the first guys a player like Luka Doncic is going to capture the imagination of NBA fans his creativity his flair for the dramatic his passing his shot making I can't keep my eyes off Luka Doncic and they called him the wonder boy in Europe Doris Luka Doncic is a magician with the ball in his hands and he just loves to play the game and that started at a very young age like so many other prodigies his talent can take your breath away Here's Ingram. He can't hit that time. Good D by Hardaway. For Dallas, they've gone 4-4 four four from the floor. Perfect start. Doncic against Graham. And Doncic the bucket on the assist from Hardaway. 
He's got five. I'll tell you, Luka Doncic makes tough shots look easy. Boy, that close to the bucket through that much contact? Nice. Pass to Valanciunas. And he banks in the layup. Valanciunas has got his second basket of the game. Just owning the painted area. If it's working, no need to change. And the Mavericks will go for a different look here. Pauly Stein, he's checked in for Porzingis. Powell comes in for Kleba. Finney Smith's checked in for Burke. And Brunson is subbed in for Luka Doncic. And a new group getting ready for the Pelicans. Hernan Gomez is checked in for Valanchunas. Hayes comes in for Williamson. Hart's checked in for Alexander Walker. And it's Sadoransky in for Graham. The Mavericks have gone 5 of 5 in this quarter. Solid. Brunson on the drive. Hardaway against Hart. Powell passes to Brunson. Two minutes remaining in the first. Two Left side, Hardaway. Outside, Finney Smith. Puts up a three. Hart pulls it in. The Pelicans trail. And here's Ingram. Outside. Knocks down the triple. Well, that's why Ingram has been an all-star. He gives your team spacing, and he doesn't need the rock to score. Brunson on the drive. Good work there as it goes. Just taking it right to the rim, and no one was there to greet him. And I think defensively, that is not the way you want to start. Giving up high percentage looks, that doesn't typically end well. And Thomas Sadoransky picks up the foul. That's his first foul. And this kind of selflessness is great to see. Textbook positioning to draw the charge. Temples checked in for Ingram. The Mavericks have gone 6 of 7 and looking good. Brunson passes to Hardaway. Fenny Smith with it. Hardaway on the wing. Pass to Brunson. Back to Finney Smith. Powell outside. Just five on the clock. Dallas needs to get off a shot. Off the mark there with a three. It's hard on the wing. He's marked by Finney Smith. Hey, Jackson shot's Hayes. good. How about the timing? Could be the difference between an assist and a turnover. Nice delivery. Brunson with it. Hard covering. That one goes. Count it. And he gives up some size inside, but makes a great adjustment on the finish. Well, he's attacking. He's forcing the issue, and that simply stated a terrific play. Pass to Sadoransky. Takes it inside. And that's good. His first bucket of the game. 29 seconds left in the first quarter. On the wing, Finney Smith. He buries it from three. The Pelicans have gotten seven of their ten shots to fall. Here's Sadoransky. He picked up 10 in his last game. Hayes with a screen on Brunson. Here's Sadoransky. Well, we've seen some great shots in the first quarter. No shortage of offense. The Mavericks on top. They lead by five. And back in a moment as we'll get underway with quarter number two. Just tuning in. Second quarter action is where we are. And let's take a moment to get your take, guys, on the scoring so far for Dallas. They've definitely had a hot hand from three-point range to this point. Always nice to start out like that. I think the other thing they've had going for them is their passing. Plenty of their baskets have come off assists. Well, you hear about the importance of confidence. 
You think that was something you always had as a player, Grant, or did you have to build that up? Well, I mean, success ultimately does breed confidence, and I had success, fortunately, at a young age. So you have to understand you have to always attack, and you always have to believe in yourself no matter what the situation. Kleba and Porzingis combo inside. Trey Burke is out there with Jalen Brunson, and it's Doncic in at the three slot. That's the lineup out there for the Mavericks. Once again, an explosive highlight on the AT&T 5G slam cam. Now here's Doncic. He's closely guarded. Count it. All three of his attempts have gone in. Well, the tight handle allows Luka Doncic to make the pretty move off the bounce. On target from range. Uh, this guy reads situations so well, and he knows how to execute. And it's Doncic on the drive. And Doncic with the jam. Well, Luka Doncic, because he understands windows of opportunity, has the footwork and the change of pace, the drive is easy for the Don. Boy, it's incredible to think that at just the age of 21, Luka Doncic entered as the odds-on favorite to win league MVP. He didn't win it that year, but if you ask me, it's a matter of when, not if. And that one's good, Ingram. Developing a more compact motion on his shot has improved Ingram's consistency from range. Dallas has gone three of five from the perimeter in this game. Pass to Porzingis, over to the wing. Now here's Doncic, guarded closely. That's short off the rim. And another superstar season for Luka Doncic in year three. But his numbers not dramatically improved on his second season. You think he's topping out? Uh, at age 22? I don't think so. We saw his three-point percentage, for one thing, jump up significantly. So barring injury, almost scary to think how good this guy could be. Porzingis, that one falls. Great set up by Doncic. Porzingis has got his third bucket of the night. Valanchunas sets a screen. And Jalen Brunson gets the whistle that time. That's his first foul of the game. New Orleans calls timeout. And the first season matchup for them against the Mavericks this year. Well, they're going to face each other a bunch of times this season. Each team wants to make a powerful first impression. And the better they know each other, the more competitive they become. Expect this first one to be extremely spirited with each side trying desperately to send a message early. And now we get a second to view the top scoring teams in the league. Second, the Pelicans. They've been having a great season on the offensive end of the floor. It never takes this team long to put big points up on the board. of Alan Tunis. Back to Graham. Here's Alexander Walker. Clock at six. Oh, great D that time from Kleba. Boy, nine times out of ten, that's going in. I'm sure he surprised himself with the miss. Work on the wing. The three. Another three for Dallas. Well orchestrated. And then the pass is right on the money. to Alexander Walker. Now here's Valanchunas. Here's Alexander Walker. And he can't answer back. The three-pointer offline. Doncic left side. And Doncic hammers it home. Well, Luka can get himself into the paint with consistency. And boy, does he make that a high percentage finish. For New Orleans, they've gone four for six here in the second. Ingram against Doncic. Pass to Williamson. Now Valanchunas. Outside Grant, looking to end the run. Unable to get that one. The Mavericks leading. Here's Burke. Fires the three. It's hauled in by Zion Williamson. There's a minute 26 left to play in the first half. Here's Alexander Walker. Gets it to drop. Now two of four. Well, everyone's seeking those high percentage looks in the restricted area. Nicely done there. It's a Ladies and gentlemen, your Maverick dance team. And the 
Mavericks will go for a different look here. Pauly Stein, he's checked in for Kristaps Porzingis. Powell comes in for Kleba. Finney Smith's checked in for Brunson. And Hardaway is subbed in for Burke. Just over three and a half minutes played here in the second quarter. Here's Doncic. Another basket. He's now six for seven in the contest. And their offensive game plan is clear. Get it inside and go to work. Here's Temple. Now quiet so far offensively. Searching for his first point of the game. Sadoransky shot is off. And that's how you have to defend him out there on the three-point line. Played him perfectly. Hardaway finds Doncic. Hayes against Powell. And Doncic launches from deep. Pelicans cleared away. Fresh off a win against the Warriors. Yeah, they connected from outside all game. And the defense had absolutely no answer for it. It's always a good thing when the defense is scrambling. Whenever there was open space on the perimeter, their shooters were able to locate it. Dallas has gone four of eight from three. A nice percentage. Fires the three. Ooh, now seven for nine after that make. Well, I absolutely love the way this guy has controlled the pace tonight. They've been able to play the style they want. Pass to Temple. Up and over Hardaway. And so it's the Dallas Mavericks up by a healthy eight points at the end of the period. And it's all due to their ability to own the paint. They've been dominant down low. All right, we'll get back to the action after this break. Hello, everybody. The news is in. Players of the Week have been named. Let's see who's hot. Hey, Shaq, did you know you won 20 Player of the Week awards in your career? That's it. I was thinking more like 100. Mm, here we go again. Get over it, Shaq. I mean, I think you need to research your research. Oh, was, oh you got 21. I'm sorry. And now let's take a look at our featured game tonight. At the half, an advantage for the Dallas Mavericks. The difference so far has been the efficiency of their offense. Their ball movement is really good. They're not afraid to use the whole shot clock if they have to. Overall, they make it every possession count. Appreciate you joining us. It's been our distinct pleasure, and I mean that. Let's now take you back over to the third quarter with Brian Anderson. For those just tuning in, thanks for being with us. Second half of this game still to play. Boy, really an incredible game here from Luka Doncic. Through the first two quarters, he's been on fire. Explosive offensive performance. Boy, he has been shouldering the load. Aggressive, skilled, talented, and thus far, unstoppable. The Pelicans trail. So the Pelicans five right now. Alexander Walker and Ingram are on the wing. Zion at power forward with Valanchunas at center. And it's Graham in at the point guard position. Shot clock at six. The shot by Alexander Walker, no good. He expects to make every one of those, and we expect him to make them too. Guys, you think about being the number one option when he was with the New York Knicks. Now, Kristaps Porzingis making the adjustment to playing second fiddle in Dallas. And that's not easy, but you have to be willing to do whatever it takes to win. Pass to Valanciunas. No good there. Now the Mavericks take it the other way. Well, they've got the Bulls ahead of them next in Chicago. It'll be the front end of a two-game road trip. Ingram against Hardaway. Outside Graham. Williamson with it. 
shoots a fadeaway. Count that one. Zion Williamson's got his second bucket of the night. And the pairing between Luka and KP, positionally, skill-wise, Doris, it seems like a good fit. Well, when you have a seven-footer who can shoot with range in the modern NBA, you think he could fit with absolutely anybody. But chemistry is always an interesting dynamic. It has to play out. And he's coming off a huge performance, and his confidence couldn't be any higher. And his coach knows that, too. Well, the best players, to me, deliver night after night after night. So as long as he's hot, keep riding it. Out for New Orleans. stats for Jackson Hayes and over the last five games his field goal percentage has increased and you can make a case his confidence as well because of this Now here's Valanciunas. Pass to Ingram. Just five to shoot. There's the triple. It's rebounded by Kleba. Defense dodged the bullet that time. Total breakdown. And here's Hardaway to the paint. Here's Porzingis. Nice D from Valanciunas. Great rim protection to prevent him from converting. Beautiful. You don't want to stop the clock right there. I'm not quite sure what he was thinking. And the Pelicans making a change here. Hayes is checked in. Pass to Williamson. Let's it go from deep. And a great assist by Graham as that one goes. Williamson's got five points now this quarter. Now here's Porzingis. 4-3. Rebounded by Ingram. And I'm surprised that didn't go down. I mean, I'm sure he is, too. Here's Hayes. Just over two and a half minutes gone by in the second half. Ingram into the lane. Williamson up top. Ingram on the wing. And out of bounds. Dallas will have it. We are now into November, so let's check in on the standings in the Western Conference. Taking a look at the Pelicans, sitting fourth in the conference early on and looking to move into that top tier. And checking out the Mavericks, quite a bit of space between these two. Checking out Dallas, they've really been floundering so far. I mean, I think everyone is really surprised at what a struggle it's been. You hit it on the head. And they have a bunch of individual pieces that simply don't fit together. And it's led to a hugely disappointing season. And a new group getting ready for the Pelicans. Hernan Gomez is checked in for Williamson. Hart comes in for Ingram. Temples checked in for Alexander Walker. And it's Sadoransky in for Graham. It's gone now in the third quarter. Two minutes remaining in the third. Now here's Brunson. Covered by Fyderansky. And he gets it back. Kleba shot out his off. For New Orleans, they've gone three of seven here in this third quarter. Pass to Temple. Now Hayes. And finished off by Hayes. Oh my. That's why we have. Breakaway rims. Dude, he is pulling the whole thing down to the floor right there. Outside Brunson for three. Hardaway. Dallas again missing. New Orleans has gone one for two from outside the arc in this third quarter. Pass to Hernan Gomez. Here's Temple. Poor 
Porzingis with the block. A swat by Porzingis. That wingspan letting you know he's in the house. Outside Hardaway. And here's Porzingis. And here's Kleba. He's covered by Hard. Inside. Shot is good by Kleba. Kleba's got his first bucket in this one. Sometimes with that much of a height advantage, resistance is futile. Pass to Hernan Gomez. Sadoransky with it. Back to Hernan Gomez. His first shot coming late. Second chance effort. Oh, it's blocked by Porzingis. Now Hardaway. Outside Brunson. He shoots it. Porzingis misses. Pass to Sadoransky. From deep. Oh, drew the foul and almost hit the three-point bucket. But he'll head to the line for three. It'll go on Maxi Kleba. At the line for the Pelicans. Tomas Sadoransky taking three shots. Three shots. Three shots. He's good on the first of three. Both teams will make substitutions. Good on the second one. He makes all three. Productive trip to the line. He doesn't like to leave points on the table. We're at the end of the third quarter, and we've still got a close one. The Mavericks on top. They're up by one. And we're coming right back after this break to get the fourth quarter started. And while we have a chance, let's go to our State Farm assist of the game. You have to love his unselfishness and ability to make those around him better. Well, this is exactly what you're looking for from your point guard. Survey the floor, serve it up on time and on target. Well, this has been a great contest so far. I imagine the fourth quarter could have more action in store for us. Luka Doncic is out there with Jalen Brunson. Then there's Willie Cauley-Stein. Then there's Dwight Powell. And it's Finney Smith in at the small forward position. That's the lineup in the game for Dallas. Listen, this is becoming routine for Luka Doncic. This guy's a big-time scorer who can take over when he's ready. Ingram with the ball. With the drive. And a slam dunk by Ingram. Now that's how you capitalize on a screen. Yeah, good positioning, too. Gave him a clear path to the hoop. Where was the defense? No fighting through the pick. No rotation. My goodness. Pow, that's good. I tell you, even with some physical contact, Pow gets it done. Love is persistence. Outside Grant pulls up on the wing. The shot no good. And it's Dallas the other way. Down low. Here's Powell. That one a little long. New Orleans has gone five of eight from outside the three-point line on this one. And there's the lob. And Williamson throws it down. Did you guys feel that? When Zion slams it, the floor shakes. Doncic with it. Guarded by Valanciunas. It's stolen by Hart. To take the lead. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. That's on Dorian Finney-Smith. 
for the man, team. He made sure to get his money's worth on that foul. Shooting for the Orleans. All right, guys, some stats here. The scoring breakdown for Dallas. They keep piling on the assist, guys. They haven't cooled off any in that regard. Now they've also jumped at every chance to attack the basket tonight. Take a break. Just terrific Take a break. penetration. Two shots. Ties it up, and this next one could give him the lead. It's been fun watching Brandon Ingram's scoring stats climb. He's a guy who can really fill it up, whether he's inside or outside of the arc. Porzingis has checked in for the Mavericks. Burke comes in for Brunson. Hernan Gomez is checked in for the Pelicans. Alexander Walker comes in for Hart. And that one falls. That puts him up one point in the game now. You know, Grant, what's really impressive about Ingram scoring is what he can do on those nights when he just goes off. <laughs> yeah, we've seen some explosive stuff from him on the offensive end from time to time. Now, when he's dialed in, he can absolutely torture you. You just wish he could perform at that level every night. You love the tough-minded individual play. Will he unafraid to take his shot as this game heats up? Oh, swiped away! Over to the left wing. Doncic against Graham. Pass to Williamson. Now here's Hernan Gomez. Five on the clock. Off target with the three. Boy, this guy just can't buy a bucket, and yet they have the advantage. And it's Burke missing. The Pelicans have gone three of five since this fourth quarter started. Ingram, the pass to Graham. Now Williamson. And if you're just joining us, fourth quarter here. We're just over two and a half minutes into it. Here's Ingram. It's wide right. Hits off the rim. Dallas has gotten six of 13 shots to go from outside the arc. From deep, here's Doncic. Cash money. Out of his 14 attempts, he's drained nine of them. That's one of those clutch shots he's known for. When the pressure is high, he seems to be the most locked in. The Pelicans call timeout. It's time for Caesar! All right, the who's coming on the court. Come on and get loud for your Mavericks dancing. A different look for Dallas. Kleba comes in for Powell, and Hardaway is subbed in for Finney Smith. Hayes is checked in for the Pelicans. Time now to hear from our reporter, Ali LaForce. Over the last break, I listened to the Pelicans coach address his team. As this game enters its final moments, he told his guys to keep their cool, saying, quote, no sloppy play. Let's stay true to what we do best. We're almost there, gentlemen. Thanks for that, Ali. New Orleans has gotten five of their nine attempts from deep to go. Ingram against Hardaway. Williamson with a screen on Hardaway. Ingram. Second shot opportunity. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting. So he'll take two free throws. When we talk about must-watch players, Zion Williamson might be at the top of my list. He can light up an arena with some of his exploits. Shooting for the Orleans. Zion Williamson. Two shots. Shooting two. So the first one drops, and that gives him a lead. Point ball game. Well, this is the kind of player he is. The tougher the moment, the more he elevates his game. And the shot goes. Doncic has got seven now in this quarter. Well, the ability to work around the defense and get himself free for a shot despite being in the paint. That is a beautiful play by Luca. And he lobs it up top. And stolen by Porzingis. To the inside. Here's Hardaway. Yes! They get the go-ahead bucket. And the Mavericks lead by two. 
Well, I'll tell you, Tim Hardaway Jr. has shown he's not just a perimeter scorer. This guy can get it done on the inside. Outside Ingram. Porzingis grabs the board. Porzingis has got his fifth rebound in this one. Kleba passes to Doncic. Played it in with a nice touch off the window. Now it's a four-point Maverick lead. Well, he's been shooting it so well because he's been so active, moving and working to get high percentage shots. From down in the low post, it goes. Ingram's got 19 points. And we continue to watch the rise of Ingram. He just keeps adding to his offensive repertoire. And he gets that one. Oh, explosive crossover. How's that for a move? The Pelicans have gotten four of nine shots to go in during this fourth quarter. Pass to Graham. It falls! Okay, and that one brings him within one! And talk about stepping up in a big way. I'll tell you, it takes confidence to pull the trigger in that situation. You love guys who relish the moment. And his Doncic outside. It's Hayes with the rebound. Graham for three. The Mavericks pull it in. Doncic outside. Now eight seconds separating the two clocks. And he buries it. And they aren't over the limit yet. Time out for New Orleans. All right, look who's coming on the court. Come on and get loud for your Maverick Camp team. Three seconds left to play in the fourth quarter of this one. Graham finds Hayes. Yes! You just can't give up looks that close to the rim. Here's Doncic. And they commit an intentional foul. We'll see another one of those, so they get into the penalty. Yeah, and that was a smart move. I mean, you have to foul right there. You just don't want them to run out the clock. And that's an intentional foul. Devontae Graham. That's his second personal foul. Second team foul. At the line for Dallas. Luka got it. At the line for two. Drops the first one, and that'll put him up too. Some people believe Luka Doncic's rise to stardom has been quick, but let's not forget this young man left his home to turn pro as a 13-year-old. So he goes two for two at the line, and it's a three-point game. Well, it doesn't get much bigger than that. A perfect trip to the line to give them the critical three-point push, and what poise. And it goes out of bounds. Last touch by Williamson. And now they foul and stop the clock. Okay, great. That's his third personal foul. Third team foul. That belongs to Dallas. Luka. Taking two shots. Gives him a four-point cushion. And 
and so he drops them both. And it's a five-point game. Well, what a performer this guy is. Game is on the line. He stands up and delivers. And so the Mavericks take the win. This one was in the balance right until the final seconds. And B.A., they showed their character when it mattered most, sending those fans home happy. And that'll do it, folks. For Doris Burt, Allie LaForce, and Grant Hill, and all of our crew, this is Brian Anderson thanking you for watching this 2K Sports presentation of the NBA as New Balance presents our player of the game, Luka Doncic. That's gift. Stand up when you are. No fire in the booth. Or fire in the park. Just fire in your heart. That's fire in the dark. That's fire.